the U.S. government now is being sued for allegedly seizing 100 million U.S. dollars in cash, gold, jewelry from citizens without any explanation. This is incredible. This came out in the Daily Hold on. And it was talking about here the U.S. government won't specify why it abruptly seized more than 100 million from people's safety deposit boxes in California, according to a new lawsuit. Folks, if you think your uh, assets are protected uh, and, and safe in a safety deposit box, <laughs> this furthers from the truth. Also, when you die, uh, uh, your assets are probated if they are in a safe deposit box. And in states like California, probate's probably the highest in that state, in, in any state in the, in the U.S. And uh, I would be putting your stuff in, in places that you, where it's either close by that has real good security. And when I say close by, I'm talking about in your possession, where you probably should keep it outside the, the, the country that you're living in and put it where you know, uh, where you know there's a, a, a safe track record uh, where you don't have uh, government uh, uh, employees coming in and, and basically uh, you know, putting signs on your safe deposit box and taking your money with no reason. You know, it, it went on to talk about here that the U.S. government won't specify, again, why roughly seized more than $100 million from people's safe deposit boxes in California, according to this lawsuit. Now, the Nonprofit Institute for Justice says it's seeking to halt forfeiture proceedings for a group of citizens who have had their assets confiscated by the FBI with little to no explanation. Can you imagine that? Coming in and seeing a notice, and you can't even find out what it is. I mean, this is like two years later. People still don't know what happened to the money. The case is centered on a Los Angeles-based couple who says the FBI abruptly seized 40200 of their life savings from a safety deposit box. This is pretty much, it sounds like, in the article, all they had. And, and, and they can't get any feedback on this. Uh, the people's name is Linda and Reggie Martin uh, want to know, you know why the FBI took their cash along with the contents of hundreds of other people's safety deposit boxes from a financial storage company in Beverly Hills in March of 2021. Now, the couple says that the agency seized their money without providing any evidence of illegal activity. Attorney Bob Belden says the FBI's move is plainly immoral and violates the Martins' rights as uh, American citizens. Also, folks, if you want to legally get around high income taxes and how to get a second passport as quick as 45 to 60 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button at the right of your screen right here and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And our two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And if you want more information, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. Now, the article went on to say that the government shouldn't uh, get to take you know, your property uh, if it can't tell you, you know, what you did wrong. Uh, using the uh, civil forfeiture, the government decides for itself whether to take and, and try to keep the property, even when it doesn't suspect the owners of any crime. Uh, then the FBI sends copy and paste forfeiture notices that fail to tell owners anything about you know, why it's trying to take their property. Uh, that's not only wrong, it's unconstitutional. Now, it, 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 they talk about it in the article here, and, and they want to say here that in total, the FBI's operation seized more than $100 million in cash, gold, jewelry, and other valuables from hundreds of people at the Beverly Hills location, according to the Institute for Justice. Folks, if you got gold and jewelry, I'm going to tell you something, this is the last place you ought to be putting your, your stuff. Um, the agency sent uh, blanket notices that indirectly refer to hundreds of federal crimes, but the government refused to say what the couple specifically did wrong. Now, the new lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia I asked the court to halt uh, administrative proceedings for everyone uh, who has received one of the FBI forfeiture notices. To date, Linda says that she and her husband have not been charged with a crime, and there's no indication that they'll ever see their money again. The FBI took my savings nearly two years ago, but has never told me why. It's been a confusing and frustrating process from the day my money was taken. She wanted to talk about here, and she said that uh, no one should have to go through all this. I totally agree. I, I, this is incredible. The Institute for Justice senior attorney uh, Rob Frommer says civil and criminal forfeiture is a big money maker for federal law enforcement. Thousands of times every year, people receive paltry notices that merely say the government wants to forfeit your property because it might be wrapped up in one of hundreds of federal crimes. Now, Linda's plight highlights the ugly truth that federal forfeiture incentives agents to uh, seize in, in, as much as they can, uh, even absent any reason to think that a crime was committed. The FBI's policing for profit deliberately leaves property owners in the dark in order to keep them from fighting back. 
Now, according to the Institute, a federal judge has stated that a separate client involved in the same safe deposit box seizure operation received an anemic forfeiture notice, and the FBI violated uh, due process in the Fifth Amendment. Folks, you, you need to plan on something like this uh, ahead of time and also advise you to get a second passport and a second citizenship. And uh, I would go the route of getting it quick. There is no better place than St. Kitts. There's no income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax. If you qualify for the overseas exclusion by being outside the U.S. so many days a year, you can make up to 112000 per person, husband and wife together, 224000 a year, a little bit more than that. I'm just giving you uh, uh, Randolph figures. That goes up every year. Uh, if you want to get around all taxes, if you're a U.S. citizen, you're going to have to relinquish your, your U U.S. citizenship if you want no limits on that. Folks, if you want to know more on this, again, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question, comment, put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right on your screen. We've got just under 900 videos that you can go to. They're free. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.